Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and this week we are going to be talking about how to land backflips and ARSs and just better understand how to get around landing these moves more frequently. There's been an overwhelming response to this topic not only on the YouTube community page but also on the Boogie Everyday membership platform. If you guys are interested head on over to boogieeveryday.com. We have a membership platform there where we post behind the scenes content, podcasts, clothing discounts, as well as weekly tips and tricks that'll help you guys to become better bodyboarders. There's also a free sticker pack as well as discount codes included. So head on over to boogieeveryday.com and check it out. There are three main mistakes that happen when trying to land ARSs and backflips, and you guys might have experienced this before. The first is landing too much on the nose. This is because too much of your weight is on the front of the board. And this happens because when you start the backflip, you're actually pulling yourself up and you're putting quite a lot more weight on the front of the board in order to start the rotation. Secondly, there's too much weight on the tail. Now this is when the tail digs, the tail becomes a lot more heavy and you end up digging the tail into the water. And the third is either catching a rail or nose diving. And this is from putting too much weight onto the inside or the outside rail as you are spinning around. And that's actually forcing the board to catch the water and flip you over. In pretty much all the previous bodyboard tutorials that I've put out on YouTube, we talk about two main things, and that's weight distribution and body positioning. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna discuss the same thing because this is vitally important when you are trying to land these tricks especially if you're up in the air and you're coming down and you're landing pretty hard. The perfect thing to have is perfect weight distribution, being centered on the board as best you can. That allows you to hit the water and spin around or alternatively just land a little bit smoother without digging a rail or digging the tail. The other thing we've discussed is moving higher up on the board to gain speed and moving back to kind of slow yourself down, as well as some spin trick videos that I think you should go through after you have seen this discussion, and that will help you to understand this a lot better. So when we talk about landing backwards, this only happens in certain moves, but it can occasionally happen no matter if you are spinning, if you're doing flips, ARSs, air reverses, air forwards, all these moves cause you to sometimes land backwards or slightly to the side. And that's why I wanted to help you guys just to better land these moves and execute these moves all the time. There are three keys to getting around this. The first is to center your weight on the board. Now this is gonna help so much when you are trying to land these moves. You wanna keep the weight as centered as you can or as far forward if you are landing the backflips. By putting your weight more on the nose, it will allow the tail to lift as well as keep the rails out of the water. And this will allow you to spin a lot easier, exactly the same as if you were doing a forward spin normally. The second is to reduce your weight on the rails. Now this is done by keeping your hips further back on the board. Now by placing your hips flat on the board, it allows you to kind of release the amount of weight that is put onto your elbow as well as your inside rail. If you are trying to pull your front hand as well as your rail around all the time, this is where you're gonna see the rail start to dig as your elbow is putting a lot more pressure on the front of the board, causing that part of the board to duck underwater. Lastly, and this is something that I always insist you guys do, and that's keeping your legs crossed. By keeping your legs crossed, you're bringing the weight further off the tail, allowing the board to kind of stay slightly out of the water as if you were riding normally kind of straight on any wave. You want that part of the board to be out of the water and allow it to kind of plane over the water a lot easier. As you know, as soon as you put too much pressure on the front of the board, the board dips and you end up nose diving. The same would happen if you were moving backwards and you put too much weight on the back of the board and that dips under. Another topic to discuss would be your leg placements and your leg movement. Now this is something that you've probably seen in a lot of my videos. Sometimes I'm dropping my legs, sometimes I'm keeping them up and crossed, but majority of the time you're gonna be using your legs to kind of spin you around in the last instance, exactly the same as you would when you are doing forward spins. By putting your legs out while you are doing this move, it's more of a feeling than it is a necessity. You're doing this in order to try and stabilize yourself, keep yourself as flat as possible. And this is done by feeling as you are coming down from these moves. It's very hard to understand this if you haven't done a lot of backflips, but 
For the most part, you're trying to feel if you're off center or if you're straight or flat. By putting the legs out, this helps you to stabilize that movement and actually allows you to land a lot more flatter and a lot more centered on the board as well as giving you that stability to land with your legs, which can be used to then spin you around and help you to straighten out. For the most part, I've said keep your legs up, keep your legs crossed. And as this is a very important factor, if you are going off your center line, your legs can help to support and stabilize this move. By using your legs, this is allowing you to really kind of cheat the move and spin you around a lot faster, giving you that drive and giving you the chance to look down the line and potentially do another move if you were in a competition or continue riding the wave a little bit further. If you are gonna put your legs down, make sure that you're using the inside leg as if you were doing a forward spin. If you are gonna use the opposite leg, this is really gonna mix up the maneuvers and change it a lot from the momentum that you are carrying through the move. When we talk about landing backflips and ARSs, the best advice I can give you is keep your weight as evenly distributed across the board while putting most of the weight kind of on your chest and onto your hips on the board. By pulling yourself up, you're bringing your hips slightly further down the board. This is gonna put the weight between your elbow and where your hips lie as centered over the board as possible and allow you to land those tricks a lot better and a lot easier. I urge you guys to go and try this, see how it feels in the water, try and make this a lot easier for you and land as many as possible. If you guys have any more questions on this video, drop them down in the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. Please share it with a friend, otherwise don't forget to go and check out the Boogie Everyday membership platform for more and we'll see you guys in the next one.